The bakers of Weber's Bread present your all-star Western theater. Drifting along, singing a song under a western moon. From Hollywood comes your all-star Western theater, starring America's great Western singers, Foy Willing and the Riders of the Purple Sage. Bringing you the music, the stories, and the spirit of the great open spaces. Today's very special guests, Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy. But now, here are the riders of the Purple Sage. Trail herding cowboy, hop on your pony, singing low. Helio, start riding now, boy, we'll make San Antonio singing low. Helio, Helio. Long weary day and a dusty road to travel, but we'll make the boss pay for all this battle driving cattle. Light hearted, carefree, trail herding cowboy singing. Helio, Helio, keep moving, doggies. Time is a wasting singing. Low, Helio, I'm not impatient, but why don't you hasten singing? Low, Helio, you ought to know that a certain someone's waiting. You ought to know that to captivate and confiscate and arms will enfold this trail herding cowboy singing. Helio, Helio, one little doggy straight from his mother singing. Helio, Helio, trail herding cowboy, there goes another singing. Helio, Helio, follow the doggies through endless days of sunshine. When this ride is over, we'll take our fun time all at one time. Makes me a happy. Trail herding cowboy singing for Helio, 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 Helio. Thank you, friends, and hello. This is Foy Willing speaking for the Riders of the Purple Sage and saying welcome to your all star Western theater, where we have the privilege of bringing you our Western songs, and where today we are especially privileged because our distinguished guest are Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy. We're looking forward, just as you are, to the fun they'll contribute to the proceedings here. And we'll be talking to them shortly. But first, the boys and I have a couple of songs for you. Here's one that we like to sing every now and again, and many of you have told us that you like to hear us sing it. So here is Cool Water. the barren ways without the taste of water. Cool water. Old Anne and I with throats burned dry and souls that cry for water. Cool water. Clear water. Keep a moving, Dan, don't you listen to him, Dan. He's a devil, not a man, and he spreads the burning sand with water. Dan, can you see that big green tree where the water's running free, and it's waiting there for you and me? The nights are cold, and I'm a fool. Each star's a pool of water. But with the dawn I wake and yawn and carry on to water. Cool water, clear water, water. Keep a moving, Dan. Don't you listen to him, Dan? He's a devil, not a man, and he spreads the burning sand with water. Can you see that big green tree where the water's running free and it's waiting there for you and me? Sand with water. Then can you 
see that big green tree where the water's running free and it's waiting there for you and me. This is a big night on Weber's All-Star Western Theater. There's a half hour of good entertainment ahead. You can count on that. And will you pardon us for saying at this point that you can always count on Weber's for something good? That good Weber's bread, for example. Thousands upon thousands of Southern California families prefer Weber's bread for its superb flavor, its soft freshness, and the fact that Weber's freshness lasts. But that's enough about Weber's bread. We know you're anxious to hear the show. Will you do this, though? Will you buy a loaf of good Weber's bread next Monday and try it? Thank you. You'll easily recognize Weber's bread by the famous blue and white Czech gingham wrapper. Well, it's nothing like a fandango, is it, boy? No, Terry, there isn't. And especially when a cowboy tries to dance it in his boots. And doubly especially, boy, when it's a Spanish fandango. Now you're talking, Terry. And you may not have known it, but that just happened to lead us right into our next tune, Spanish Fandango. Oh, I know, boy. I was uh, briefed especially by a caballero named Carlos McCarthy. He's a grand boy, Terry. A grand boy. <laughs> and we'll sing this especially for him. And dance it, too. Spanish Fandango. <laughs> My sweet senorita, my own sweet Chiquita, let's dance once again the Spanish Fandango. I long for the charm of your sweet loving arms, so come, let's begin the Spanish Fandango. Hold me once more as we fly across the floor, it's you I adore, my own senorita. By light of the moon, let's dance to the tune, don't end it too soon, the Spanish Fandango. Bergen and Charlie McCarthy. Charlie, 
Do you know the riders of the Purple Sage? No, no, I don't. But I'm willing to take a chance if they are. Well, this is Poi Willing, Al Slowey, Johnny Paul, and Scotty Harrell. Well, I'm real pleased to meet you, men. I'm in my element around here, you know, because I love the West. And I spend a good deal of time out there, too, you know. You did? Yeah. Ask me where. All right, where? Where'd you spend time? Way out in, in uh, Creeping Girdle, Nevada. Is that so? <laughs> Well, I'd have stretched from here. Yeah, I imagine so. <laughs> All right, Charlie. And, fellas, I, I reckon I want to thank you for reckon... I mean, for singing that Spanish fan dancer in, in my honor. I reckon. I think I reckon. Oh, uh, we don't sing songs in honor of folks we ain't met up with. We just sing because we like to sing. I heard what you said, partner. I heard it, and I'm resenting it. <laughs> How much? As... Uh, who is these fellas, Bergen? Who is it? Now, who is that hombre? Well, I just introduced you, Charlie. These are the riders of the Purple Sage. Oh, is that so? Yes. Yes, I see. Is that what you birds are? That's what folks call us. Well, I'm the cactus's uncle. Here. <laughs> you see? You see, guys? I told you everybody said that Charlie was only made of wood. Hey, hey, hey hold on there, partner. Just because folks say a lot of stuff don't necessarily make it so, you know. Watch your talk, my half buckaroo. I'm in a mad mood today. Yes? Yeah? What are you mad about, partner? Some honorary varmint stole my irons. Your shooting irons? No, my curling irons. Yeah. <laughs> I know how you feel. Uh, where are you from, partner? Oh, all over. Yeah? Not a pretty country up there. <laughs> oh, now, tell me, is this just a lot of talk, or have you done much riding herd and branding? Uh, I'm glad you asked me. Yes, indeed, I have. Yes, indeed. Oh, goodness me, yes. I'm an old, I'm an old hand at, at the bulldozing. Uh, you're, you're what? Well, I mean, I mean, I'm an old, uh, old cow catcher. I mean, I'm a cow razzler, a rizzler. What yeah. are you saying? I don't know. I'm talking bow legged. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I just have you know, I, I can ride anything with four legs. Oh, you ride? Yeah. Well, I don't think you could even stay on the kitchen table. Ch- Smile when you say that, partner. <laughs> I'm a smiling, so what? Mighty pretty teeth you have there, partner. <laughs> Mr. Bergen, have you spent much time out in the Indian country? Oh, yes, indeed, yes, yes. Sir. Should I tell you about the time I fought off 500 Indians single handed? No, you shouldn't, and please don't. <laughs> All right, I will. We're stuck, fellas. Yeah. There I was with a pistol in each hand and a shotgun in the other. Hey, wait a minute now. First one Indian bit the dust, and then another Indian bit the dust, and another Indian bit the dust. Hungry rascals, weren't they? Yeah. <laughs> and then I discovered I only had one bullet left. Yeah? How was I to escape? Well, what did you do? Well, the situation needed some clear and clever thinking. So you gave up? No, no, no. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, I confused them. I jumped on my horse, and I rode off in six different directions. Say, that ain't easy to do, you know, fellas. <laughs> If you can do it at all. I was firing and a firing and a firing at the Indians. Wait a minute. I thought you said you only had one bullet left. Well, that's right. Uh, you did, huh? Yes. Well, I... Oh, yes. I did say that. Yeah. Well, I... Um, uh, you see, I... Well, I, I kept using it over and over. Oh. I see. I thought maybe you just shot it off a little bit at a time. No. <laughs> well, Mr. Bergen, tell me. Did you get away? Yes, I did get away, and lucky I wasn't killed. Well, better luck next time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, fellas, stand back. Now it's my turn. Uh, what do you mean? I think I got the hang of this stuff now. <clears throat> I'll watch for this. All right, Charlie, go ahead. I was out riding the range one day when I came plumb up against a mountain lion. A mountain lion, huh? Yeah, and plumb ugly he was, too. So I whipped out my plumber, I mean my, um... <laughs> 32, 32, yeah. And I took careful aim with one and sh- took one shot, you know, and bang! And I... I got him in the head and in the foot, is that? Now, oh, wait a minute. How yeah. could you get him in both places with one shot? You're a nosy little guy. <laughs> I was afraid you'd ask that. Well, I'll tell you, I he was scratching his head at the time. <laughs> Charlie, I'm afraid we've been doing a lot of big talk here, but I don't think we have fooled the writers of the Purple Sage a bit. No, no. 
I hope you fellas will forgive us. Oh, that's quite all right. Just to show you we ain't hankering any grudge, we got a little job for Charlie in our next song. Oh, I see. Uh huh. He sort of couldn't handle it without me, huh? <laughs> yeah, I need someone to tie my horse to. Why, why, why you? <laughs> I bet I could do it from here. No, 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 no. You know, Mr. Bergen, we could tell you wasn't no cowboy by your funny-looking legs. Funny-looking legs? What's wrong with about my legs here? Why, they go straight up and down. You know. <laughs> well, maybe my legs aren't bowed, but I, I spend a good deal of time on my horse. I'm quite a lover of horses. Oh, is that why you always ride with your arms around their neck? No, no, no. <laughs> no. Oh, but my horse... My horse is just like one of my family. Well, you know your family better than I do. Yeah. Well, there's only one way to put a stop to this foolishness. What do you mean? See, see, wasn't that your drawing there, bud? Nah, don't worry. It's only my guitar. Oh, your guitar. What's the idea? Well, nowadays, cowboys have to be quick on the draw. The guy who gets his guitar out first gets to sing. Yeah. I know what you mean, partner. I heard of a cowboy who fell and broke his guitar. What happened? Well, they had to shoot him. <laughs> You know, I like music. Oh, good old Western stuff. Oh, it's great stuff. Oh, those wide open spaces. Where well, over the sky for a blanket. <laughs> you lie awake at night and listen to the cattle rustling, I guess. Ah, sing me a song, partner, while I throw another horse on the fire. All right, Charlie. You been blue lately? Every time I shake my piggy bank, I get blue. Why? No tinkling sounds. Then we have just a song for you. Bergen, shall we step off to one side? Well, why, Charlie? Well, I've just been noticing that guitar. It's a dangerous instrument. Oh, no. You never can tell when one of those G-strings is going to snap off. <laughs> Now, Foy Willing and the Riders of the Purple Sage sing for you a song which Foy and Sid Robbins wrote and which is featured in the Republic picture, Under Colorado Skies. The song, Holiday for the Blues. You gotta start in a singing and you gotta shout. You gotta keep on a swing and kick the blues right out. Don't you let it get you, you got too much to lose. It's a holiday for the blues. You gotta start in a shout until you're feeling fine. You gotta keep on a pouting, gotta rise and shine. Keep the raptors ringing till you set off a fuse. It's a holiday for the blues. The sun is out of shining, the sky is bright and clear. It's no time to be pining, no time for having fear. Go calling on your neighbor, go out and spread the news. Cause it's a holiday for the blues. You gotta start in a singing and you gotta shout. You gotta keep on a swing and kick the blues right out. Don't you let it get you, you got too much to lose. It's a holiday for the blues. Was riding on my pillow, not a cent in my jeans. It felt like it was weeks since I'd had pork and beans. I said, let's jump in the river. My horse said, I refuse. Cause it's a holiday for the blue. I went out to the racetrack, the horse gave me a smile, leaned over and he whispered, I win this by a mile. I didn't feel unhappy, though I lost my shirt and shoes. Cause it's a holiday for the blues. You gotta start in a singing and you gotta shout, you gotta keep on a swing and kick the blues right out. Don't you let it get you, you got too much to lose, it's a holiday for the blues. You gotta start in a shop until you're feeling fine. You gotta keep on a top and gotta rise and shine. Keep the raptors ringing till you set off a few. It's a holiday for the Oh, 
Oh, hush up, all the Bunch of city slickers. All right, all right. Hello, Mr. Bergen. Well, much of it. I, I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you since last week. No? Yeah. Come to think of it, I ain't seen you since then, neither. Yeah. It's no world, ain't it? Yes, it is. Well, yep, it's no world, Neil. Yep. yep, that's the way it goes. Yeah, that's the way it goes, yeah. Say, why, why the worried look on you? Oh, I don't know. You must be perturbed. I've been scared. Mm hmm? I say, you must be perturbed. No, no, no. No, I'm Mortimer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, you know what? No. Uh, the farm, the farm don't seem the same no more, Mr. Bergen. Oh, the farm? No, it's not the same. Oh, I see. Well, why is that, Mortimer? Well, when I got home, my, my cow, Bessie, you know. Yes. Yeah. She was gone. Gone. Yeah, yeah. She just up and left me. Oh, I see. Well, hope it wasn't nothing I said. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Mighty McCows aren't that sensitive. Well, Bessie is. Oh, she is. Yeah, she hates cold words worse than cold hands. Is that? <laughs> well, I don't think she deliberately left. No. No. Maybe she strayed away and couldn't remember the way home. Well? Yeah. You mean she she might be a a victim of uh, magnesia? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bessie was a pretty valuable cow. More sure. Yeah. You used to milk her twice a day, didn't you? Yeah, twice a day. Um. No, and I am sometimes uh, uh, three times a day. Is that so? Yeah. If we had company. Oh, I see. <laughs> and did she give milk every time? Oh uh, no no. But she tried hard. <laughs> well, now, I tell you what I think we should do, Mortimer. Well, I tell you, I'll run an ad in the Lost and Found for you. All right. Now, now, what shall we say in this ad? What shall we say? Well, let's see, you know. How about, uh, Lost? Yes. Lost. Yeah. We've got to say more than that, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, lost, uh, Lost One Matronly Lady Cow. No, 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 no. With crankcase full of milk. No, no, no. <laughs> walks, walks with a sort of a Jersey bounce. <laughs> no, no. No, that would never do. No, I guess not. Martin, but first of all, tell, we must tell what color she is. Hmm? I say we must tell what color she is. Well, yeah, well, yeah, that's what we got to do. Yeah. Now, now, what would you call her? Would you call her dark? I was, um... Hmm? I say, would you call her dark? No. Well, what would you call her? I always call her Bessie. Bessie. <laughs> All right, now, Marjorie. Now, now, what are we going to say in this ad? Well, let's just say, uh, Bessie. Yeah. Come home. All is forgiven. That's fine. <laughs> Westerners inherit a tradition of optimism from the not-so-long-ago days when this was a new country, a place where a man could make a new start, find new opportunities, make dreams come true. Well, it's still a new country, still rich in opportunity, and there's a new year ahead for us to shape pretty much as we will. The bakers of Weber's Bread and the members of our all-star cast wish their unseen radio audience a wonderful new year, a year of opportunity, prosperity, and happiness for you and yours. And now, especially for our guests, Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy, not to mention Mortimer Snurd, the writers of the Purple Sage sing this next number, which is Foy's newest song, and certainly one of his best, Prairie Echoes.
Thank you very much, folks. That about winds up things for this time. We're always glad when you can be with us, and we invite you to join us again next week. Before we go, our thanks to Edgar Bergen, Charlie McCarthy, and Mortimer Snurd for being with us. This is Floyd Willing, speaking for Al Floyd, Johnny Paul, and Scotty Harrell, the writers of the Purple Sage, saying so long and the best of luck to all of you. Drifting along From Hollywood, you've heard your all-star Western theater, a V.M. Bear production starring America's great Western singers, Boy Willing and the Riders of the Purple Sage. The production was directed by Scott Farnworth. This is Terry O'Sullivan speaking. The all-star Western theater came to you from Columbia Square. KNX in Los Angeles. 25 seconds.